Alright, so welcome back to another video. So in this one we're going to be checking out how to use the zombie admin tools. So this isn't going to be a massively in-depth video, but if you're curious about how to use them, how to spawn things in and what they can do, then you probably want to check this video out. So guys, if that is something that you're interested in, then stick around, hit the sub button, the like button or comment, and if there's anything else you want me to add later on or a future date, if there's anything I've missed in this one, then let me know and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so looking into what the zombie admin tools are, right? so they pretty much are what they say in the tin, they're a tool which allows you to admin stuff on the server, so it allows you a bit more things. So if you look at the top here, obviously it's got my name, if any, if there's any other players in the server, that name would also come up down the side. You've got god mode, you've got fuel and repair, you've got kill and bite and things you can do to other players, you've got like a free cam, change the time, change the date on the server. <laughs> Uh, there's loads of things. You can delete ex delete existing things that are on the server. Um, you can move yourself forward or teleport yourself. So a basic example of teleporting is, is if you want to teleport yourself, you need to press the blue button there. See where the cursor is, where the dot is now. So it's pointing on that roof. Click the admin tools. Click teleport to co cursor. Teleport? Teleport, I should say. And there you pretty much teleport straight to the cursor. It's pretty much a simple and effective way of moving yourself around the map if you just want to have a play about with them. Um, it, I don't use it a lot, but I have done in the past if I need to get to a certain rooftop or if a player has locked himself in a building or something and you need to try and get in there, it is a certain way you can do it. Uh, this option as well, it is just showing you can just jump 10 meters forward and you can just keep clicking that and you just keep going forward. The other options are spawning other players to yourself or spawning yourself to other players and you can do that on the map and I'll show you that in a minute. You've also got to Toggle God, you can see it puts God mode on so you shouldn't die and you can heal yourself as you can see in the bottom right there if you click the heal button there you go all the stats would start going up and if you were injured or if your health on the right hand side the cross was red that would definitely improve and you can also do that to other players. You've got fuel and repair which is important so if you spawn a vehicle in okay so this is your spawn menu to spawn something go to spawn menu. Now these are all these items here all the items that are in the game so pretty much every single item including buildings, zombies, whatever you can whatever you can think of is, is in this is in this list. To spawn a vehicle in, what we need to go is up the top you've got object, objects, so to spawn a vehicle in go to objects, and now these are your vehicles, now for this demonstration we're going to spawn in a truck, so if you can see the truck now it hasn't got any wheels, it's, it's not obviously you can't drive it, you've spawned it in, you're unable to drive it, so you can see it's there, it's got no battery, no rad, no, nothing really. So step back, point your cursor at the truck, and what you want to hit is fuel and repair. Well, or repair and fuel, whatever it is. But once you've done that, okay, obviously you can see now all the wheels are available on the truck. Now this truck is available now for driving. And to delete an object, what you need is at the bottom there, you can see the delete object near cursor. You just double click it and that object deletes. So that's the basics really of spawning a vehicle, how you can spawn them in, how you can get them deleted. And just to show you that these vehicles are obviously drivable after you spawn them in, what we'll do is we'll spawn in an ADA quickly. And then we'll, we'll just take it up the road, obviously, just to show you, you quickly. So it's in, fuel and repair, so obviously the, the, car, the car's ready to go. Then you just jump in, and you can just drive it like normal and up the road, and that should work just fine. And it's also a way of repairing players' cars. So if a player's got a vehicle that he's either bought from a trader or made from scratch, etc. But if he has got a vehicle and he's damaged that vehicle, as long as you go up to that vehicle, then you've got the choice of either deleting it and spawning new one for the player, or you can just fuel and repair it and then that vehicle then should be good to go. Shouldn't really cause you any problems. Once you finish with the vehicle, there is just a matter of just getting out and just getting that deleted. This works with pretty much any item in the game, gun, clothing, wherever you bring into the game. It's a similar option. I just showed you vehicle because the only difference with that is you have got the fuel and repair option as well. So moving on then to our map, okay? So as you can see, right, the map is slightly different. So you can see on the normal map it says me, but if we come out to this and then go into the admin map, it is actually going to show my player name, so it shows us Cranky Chris. And any other players in the server, now I'm playing on a locked server at the moment just to demonstrate this, okay? But any other players on that server would have their in-game name or survivor if they haven't got a name. And if there's more than one survivor, survivor, one, two, three, wherever you get the gist. But you can then teleport anywhere on this map. So if I wanted to go to Viber or just south of Viber, I press the Alt key and I just click there and then it instantly teleports me to that position. And again, you can do this for other players, you can bring them to you, or you can move yourself to other players, obviously using the teleport to option, but if you wanted to teleport the player somewhere, you, you obviously you could, that option's available for you, and there is an option I use now and again, especially if you're playing on a server with a bunch of mates, and you just can't be bothered running or driving to each other, you just teleport about. 
one thing I'd say with the admin tools, and this is really for teleporting or spawning stuff in, is be careful because you can get carried away with it and all of a sudden you've spawned everything in that you need and you take away from the game. So just use it with a bit of caution. Obviously for this demonstration I don't mind spawning myself in a jacket, but you find yourself, oh, what's a jacket, what's a parrot, what's a bag of nails, what, what's a car battery, and all of a sudden you find you're not looting anymore, you're just sitting there using the admin tools. So although they are fun, if, if you like the sort of thing that I like just running around and playing it, then just do with a bit of caution. Along with items of clothing, etc, and guns and vehicles and all that sort of stuff, you can actually spawn in zombies, animals, you can spawn in cows, bears. I mean, if you want to play a joke on your mate, just hide somewhere and spawn in a bear. But um, that's also available to you. The, the option's exactly the same. So you just click on the spawn menu. You're looking for AI. Now it's a bit different because you're looking for actually the zombies or the bears, etc. So you just spawn a zombie in. And obviously he's a zombie. You just fight him, kill him, wherever. Same with animals, spawning bears, uh, cows, geese. Ah, uh, geese. What am I talking about? Have you seen geese and daisy? There should be a goose and daisy. So note for the gamers. Next update, put in a goose. But you get the gist of that. So it is pretty much just, you, like I said, like I said at the start, it is just spawning what you want, really. The, the, the options are open for you. What I'd say, be careful. So if I spawn in an animal now, okay? So I'm going to spawn in, um, we'll spawn in, what should we spawn in? A cow or a doe or a buck or whatever. But we're going to spawn, we'll spawn in an animal. Now we will spawn in where the cursor is. So as you can see, my cursor is set quite far off in the trees at the moment. So if I spawn in something now, okay, you're not going to be able to see it. It's going to be miles away. Now this, this you have to take a bit more care with when spawning things like magazine or rounds or ammo or something. Because if you spawn in a bit far away and it's in long grass, you won't be able to find it. So just to prove a point, now we can obviously spawn in this a bit closer. And there is a cow. So you get the gist. It will spawn in wherever the little cursor is pointing at. And if I can't punch a cow, he's going to run away. And we're going to leave him go. Now going back to the teleport to option, okay, this is another option I like. If a player is annoying you or you're playing on server, he's not obeying the rules, if you point the cursor up in the air, you can click on the target, in this case I'm going to use me, and press target a cursor, it will send you into a free fall. Now players that have never seen this before, they kind of get freaked out by it, they start writing things in the inbox as they're coming down saying they're going to die. Now if it's just one of your mates and you're mucking about, you can stick god mode on, but I don't know, I've got in the habit of just doing this to people that cheese me off, but um, yeah, anyway, just a bit of fun. Well guys, I'm going to be honest, that is probably the basics of zombie admin tools. There's a few more things you could probably do in there. I don't use them for too much more, if I'm being honest. I use them for helping out players. Obviously, you know, if players have got bases and fences, etc., you want to pull down, you can just go and do that. Delete the name, delete the locks if they forgot their lock code and can't get in. But guys, if you do want to watch a more in-depth tutorial about how to add these to your server, I'll put the link in one of the cards on the video, because this was one of the ones I did in the added mods video. And if there's anything else you want to see a bit more in depth regarding zombie admin tools, then just drop me a comment and I'll certainly look into that for you. But I just want to say now, I just want to finish this up. Obviously, if you've seen up until now and you've watched the whole video till now, I appreciate it. Drop a like or a comment or whatever. Hit the sub button if you haven't already. It's just to make sure you catch any more Daisy tutorials I put up or videos regarding this or gameplay, whatever I decide to do. But yeah, that's it. If that's something you think you're going to interest you, then obviously check it out. And guys, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.